Good morning, Bobcat fans. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and definitely a Happy New Year. Today is New Year's, and as I reflect on the earlier part of this season, I'm just really excited about what the future has to hold for us. We have a lot of things that have been exciting in the preseason. Our team had an opportunity to go to Tulane for the Tulane Classic, played two top quality teams, lost a game in overtime to the home team against Tulane. We also have some exciting news with Tasha breaking the Sunbelt Conference record. Tasha Lovett is an extraordinary shooter. Not only did she break the NCAA record last season, she broke the Sunbelt Conference record as well. To have a Texas State future alumni as a record holder in the Sunbelt Conference is really exciting. We've only been in this conference for a short period of time, and so to have a young woman in the record books and that'll hold for her as an alumni is exciting for our program. Obviously, this record wouldn't be broken without the help of her teammates, uh, you know, past president, and and I'm just really excited to have, be a part of her success. Uh, Abby Kane was a great three-point shooter because uh, I'll be getting in the gym every day. I shoot trains, spot up, kick outs. I shoot off the screens. Uh, I just I just try to shoot every like situation I can get in the game. So I try to get up game shots every time I'm shooting. I'm not just shooting, you know, to just shoot. and that's Kesslyn King, Chelsea Johnson, and Jessica Pazzi Puente. Really excited about all three young women. One of them is Jessie, she's a dynamic shooter. She's right down south from San Antonio, so it's fun to have another student athlete from San Antonio within our program. Jessie had the opportunity to play with the Mexican national team. And we're gonna be cheering her on as she continues in her path until she's a Texas State Bobcat. Kesslyn King is a player from out of the DFW Fort, Greater Fort Worth area. Uh, specifically the Mansfield area. Really excited about Kesslyn. She came down to camp and really impressed us. As we continue to watch and follow her, she's more than deserving of the opportunity that she was given, and I'm really proud that she's a Bobcat as well. She is a tenacious player. She plays on both ends of the floor, and a little known fact about her is that she also is quite the volleyball player. But Coach Chisholm, I'm not gonna let you take her from us. And then last but not least, we have Chelsea Johnson. Chelsea is a young woman out of Louisiana. Um, what I consider North Louisiana, but we're really excited regardless of where she's from that she's a part of our Bobcat family. What I've enjoyed about Chelsea and her family is more so the fact that she's quite an academic, outspoken young woman. She really takes her civic duties as a student athlete, really important, that's very, excuse me, very important to her. She's had opportunities to speak to large groups and really move people with her thoughts and ideas. I think it's really good that we have student athletes nowadays who don't just utilize sport, um, but they utilize the platform that they have to help others. And we're gonna find that with Chelsea Johnson when she comes here as a Bobcat. 
all three young women are very different, but the one thing all about them that I've really enjoyed is that they all come from great families, they're hard workers, and they're going to be great moms. Even more exciting news for our Bobcat women's basketball family is the fact that we have two players that received a perfect 4.0 student athletes in the fall semester of 2018, and that is Brooke Holly and Bailey Holly. Receiving a 4.0 as a student athlete is not an easy feat. It's very much like winning a championship. They both won championships in the classroom, and I'm really, really proud of their efforts. It's something that they've both been wanting to achieve for quite some time, and like all of our student athletes that receive 4.0s, they got a big hug, a high five, and a lot of celebration from me and our staff as well. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're looking forward to the next episode of All for Texas State. Ooh, 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 ooh.